All right, so today we have Amazon Favorites Round 2 because I'm so happy that you guys liked the first one because I love talking about Amazon products. If you missed it, I did a whole video on my top Amazon recommendations that was just like a general one. And then this video is gonna be all focused on my Amazon travel recommendations. So when I'm not filming or working in Seattle, I'm either on a trip, planning a trip or looking at Kayak Explore. I've lived abroad, I travel a lot, I love traveling. Traveling is like, if I could only do one thing for the rest of my life, I would travel. So these products are a combo of things for domestic travel or international travel, depending on what trip you're taking, where you're going. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Today's video is obviously a bonus video this week. I think it's going up on a Tuesday, so Yay for bonus videos. All right, so let's start out with the basic that you can use no matter where you're going. I'm gonna preface this by saying I've never been a packing cube person, never been into them. I find that they almost take up more room for some reason, just the way that the clothes fit into them and just the way they like lay in the suitcase and everything. I've always felt like I can make more room by just putting the clothes directly in until I found these. I got these off of Amazon, obviously. These are compression packing cubes. I have a bunch of different sizes. So what you do is you roll your clothes. So like in this bag, I would put whatever, scarves, swimsuits, anything smaller in here. You would roll everything up or just stuff it in however you wanna do it. You zip it up with the green zipper and then you use this gray zipper right there to make it smaller and it just pushes the air out as it does that and it actually works. It saves so much space and when I was on my Europe trip a couple months ago, I used these and all I brought for that trip for a few weeks was a carry-on bag and I fit all of my stuff in there, like down jackets, winter stuff, scarves, everything. They start at 18 bucks depending on how many bags you get, but these are totally worth it in my opinion. Next up is one of my favorite Amazon buys of all time, not just like travel. I've had this for a couple years now and I still use this thing and I still love it. This is a wallet. This isn't just any wallet, we'll get into it. This is $13.99 and they have 32 different colors in this thing. This has lasted me a couple years and I bring this on every single trip I go on. So the cool thing about this wallet is not only is it super flat, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in whatever you're carrying, but it's designed to be a passport holder wallet. So it has this slit back here where you can just slide in your passport. It has spots for all of your cards, money spot back here, coin wallet. Pretty sure I still have some kind of money. And if you're traveling, the worst feeling is when you feel like you have no idea where your passport is. And with this thing, every single time after I use it, I just slip it right back in here and it's in there for good. And I actually use this as my main wallet here not traveling for a long time because it just takes up no room in your purse if you don't want to bring a full-on purse it could almost double as like a clutch so this next thing is actually right in here i kept the original box because i just keep the ink in here this is totally not something that's necessary it's just if you're a pen person like i am this mini pen is by narwhal and it actually comes with two of them in here and you get extra little ink sets. These are $12.95 for two of them. It's a mini pen, totally not necessary, but the reason why I really like this is because it's lightweight. I can slide it in that wallet just right there in that spot. Before I got this pen, I was that person every single time on the plane who would have to ask my neighbor for a pen when you fill out like the customs forms. So now I'm not that person. <laughs> Thank you, Narwhal. I also journal on trips now, which we'll talk about in a second. So for that too, it's handy. It's just always good to have a pen. You can always use a pen. So when you're traveling to another country, the voltage of the electricity is usually different and the outlets are different. So you need some kind of converter, adapter, and that's another one of the things over the years that I just have so many lying around that are all for different things until I found this guy. This is a universal travel adapter. This was 13 bucks, best 13 bucks I've ever spent. You actually get two USB things on the side too, which is really cool. You have one right here and then you have little different things that flip up for different countries. And the other thing I really like about this is that it actually says on here. So it says like Japan, Australia, Thailand, Europe, usually, or at least the ones I have, it just has types. So every time when I'm packing for a trip, you have to like Google the type and see what countries are in that certain type instead of just saying the country. So this one just takes out that extra step and for 13 bucks, totally worth it if you're gonna be doing any kind of international travel. So I have a few different bags I pack depending on what kind of trip it is and what I'm gonna be doing and stuff. But this thing I bring almost every single trip because it's just a super, super lightweight backpack. Okay, I just rolled that really bad, but you can actually roll this thing up to be even smaller than this, like half the size if you really tried. I think there's actually a way to like roll it in itself or whatever and make it really small, but 
I'm not good with rolling things in themselves. So even if you're not gonna be like hiking or doing anything where you really need a backpack like this, this is always good to bring on a trip because you never know if you're gonna be shopping or buying some things or food or whatever reason, something can't fit in your bag when you're going back home. This is one of those bags that just has like pockets in pockets. It also is big enough to fit a laptop, side water bottle pouches, it's waterproof, it's easy to clean, super lightweight, overall just like a good backpack to have. They have 10 different colors of this and it's $20.99. Okay, if you're a coffee person, you'll emphasize with me on this one. This is just powdered Nescafe. This is really popular in other countries. This is what I drank in Jordan for like a solid year straight. Drink Arab coffee and Turkish coffee too, but for the most part, just if I wanted to make a cup of coffee, I'd just use this. I personally love the taste of this. I think I'm just so used to it now and it just reminds me of that, that I love it, but it's definitely a different taste than like brewed black coffee. There's two reasons why I travel with this. One, you can just empty this out, empty out the powdered coffee into a plastic bag and pack it. It takes up pretty much no room and you have caffeine. You never know what the caffeine situation is gonna be. You can, of course, always find coffee no matter where you are pretty much. But if you're someone like me who needs caffeine to function and you have to have it within like the first 30 seconds of your eyes opening in the morning, then you won't have to worry about where you're gonna find your first cup of coffee. You don't need a coffee machine to make this. You literally just need hot water and almost every hostel has a stove that you can use and like a water kettle. And also hotels. I was just staying at a hotel, where was I? I was at an Airbnb in LA that didn't have any kind of coffee machine, Keurig, nothing, no coffee. So this would have been a perfect thing for that too. So if you're staying at Airbnbs or if you're staying at a hotel that doesn't have any kind of coffee machine or whatever, almost always you can find a water kettle. So if you can find a water kettle and you can make hot water, then you can make coffee with this. Also, Nescafe is usually cheaper in other countries. So of course, when you land somewhere, you could just get this and do the same thing. So you don't really have to buy it off of Amazon. But if you wanna be prepared and you want your caffeine and you want to know for sure that you're going to have your caffeine, then you can get it on Amazon in the US. So this next one I talked all about in my last Amazon video, so I'm not going to go super in depth about it, but it is a total travel must have for me. So I wanted to mention it again in this video, but this is my toiletry slash everything bag, makeup brushes, makeup, face wash, everything. If you want to hear more details on this guy, check out the last video. But the thing I really love about this is how flat it is. So it just lays on your suitcase and to cushion it, I'll usually put a jacket on top or something just so the makeup doesn't break or whatever. But I just love the size of it. I can fit everything I need in it. And it's like the perfect travel all in one kind of bag for toiletries and cosmetics. Okay, so this next one is something that I not only always travel with, but I almost always keep this in my purse because my phone dies in literally like two hours. This is the Anchor external battery pack charger. So you just plug in, I just have this like mini one that is really grossly dirty. But you just plug in the USB side here and then this side goes into your phone. This thing I think I also got on Amazon. So I'm gonna have everything linked down below that I'm talking about, by the way. This thing is $12.99 and it is awesome. It charges your phone so fast and it holds battery for a long time. Let me see if it says how long. It says 5200 mAh, if that means anything to you. That means nothing to me. Especially if you're solo traveling, if you're in another country, it's always good to have a charged phone because you never know when you're gonna need it, whether it's just for GPS or whatever. I just always like to have something in case my phone dies so that I can get back to wherever I need to be. My only downside with this thing is that it is pretty heavy, but I feel like most of these are. If you know of a lightweight one, let me know down below. So these next things are called gear ties. I have these in black that I use, but I just got another pack because I needed more and so I can show you guys the packaging and stuff. But these are reusable rubber twist ties. So basically you can use these to organize your cords. I have been someone for years that just throws all of my cords in my purse. And then when I'm trying to actually get something out, they're like, completely tangled in earphones and 10 other things. And this solves those problems. I have black ones, but I feel like these actually will be better so that I can just see them like at the bottom of a dark bag easier, the neon ones, but they basically just twist around and you can tie up your cords however you want to. If you have really thin hair and you ran out of a hairband, I guess you could try and use this. This would hold like two pieces of my hair. Journaling, like I said, is something that I have recently started doing. This still needs to be organized for my last trip, but I got really into getting like decals where I could find them and postcards and stuff just to put in these journals. I got these black field books and then this outer leather thing that holds them. I like this because it has a wraparound thing, so it's just gonna keep everything in there. This trip was from January and I already feel like I forget a shit ton of stuff. So I don't know, if you're someone like me who has like major memory issues, then journaling could be a good idea. Especially if you're gonna be taking a bunch of buses and trains and stuff and you need to entertain yourself, journaling is just a good 
good way to kill time. So this next one is gonna be solely if you're a photographer, videographer, YouTuber, or you just like to travel with cameras. So this is a really stylish looking camera bag. I've talked about this before a while ago when I first got it. I got it probably like a year and a half ago now. I think I've showed this in a vlog or something, but basically you have two different sections. You have a bottom section here, and this is a padded camera bag. You would never know by the outside of it. This is mostly if you're traveling with like major camera equipment, you wouldn't need this for like a vlog camera, but if you're traveling with like a DSLR and different lenses and stuff, I like this pouch for memory cards, and then there's different inserts that you can attach here with Velcro. But then this top part actually fits a shit ton. And the thing I love is that it has this padded section back here where you just super easily slide your laptop down. And it has this pouch right here. Oh, is that a memory card? Oh, hell yeah. I felt like I was missing a memory card. Wow, how long has that been in there? If you travel with camera equipment but you still wanna look semi-stylish, this is for you. So this next one is a bag, but it's not like a suitcase suitcase bag. Let me explain. So my suitcases I use just depend on the trip I'm going on. This next thing is something that I would bring either if I'm going on like an overnight trip or if I'm going on a trip where it's a little bit more trendy, you know what I'm saying? So I think this is technically called a weekender bag. It has this long over the shoulder strap right here that has the padding. And the reason why I like this is because again, it's that like washable material. I feel like it looks pretty nice for the price. I think this was around 40 bucks. You have obviously fake leather straps, but it can fit a lot of stuff in here. This is a bag that would either be a good carry-on or if you're just going on a super short kind of overnight trip, you could probably fit everything in here. It almost reminds me of long shop, long shop, however you say it, but it's 40 bucks and not like 300. All right, so that's everything. Those are all of my Amazon must-haves for traveling. If there's anything that you think I need in my life, let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll leave my other Amazon video linked down below, but if you're new here, you can subscribe. Everything I talked about is linked down below in the description box. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.